In this contact form 7 WooCommerce integration tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use a simple plugin to add your WooCommerce products as a drop down menu in your contact form 7 forms. It's really simple, it's easy, it's fast. As you can see, this video is quite short, and you'll have this functionality by the end of the video. If you have any questions along the way, please make sure you leave them in the comments down below. My name is Bjorn Alpass for WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. And we're getting started right now. This is what we're creating in this tutorial a drop down menu with a thumbnail picture a title, and a price of products in your WooCommerce store. It will list all of them for you in here, and your customers and visitors can choose which ones they want to inquire about. They click on it, they write the message, send you an email. It's that easy. The only setup we have in this video is a bunch of products in WooCommerce and a contact form, which looks like this. Just a basic straight up contact form with nothing additional added to it. And this is the plugin we're going to install. It allows us to add WooCommerce products to our contact forms. And it's a brand new plugin, very recently created, only has 100 active installs. So far, only two ratings, five to five stars. So you may or may not want to install it because the ratings aren't there yet, but I've installed it. I didn't have any problems. There is a pro version as well. What you can do with the free version is very limited, but at least it's something. And it's actually pretty cool. So if we head back into our website and install this plugin, we go to plugins and add new. If you don't know how to create WooCommerce products or a regular contact form, I have other tutorials on this channel to help you do that. So make sure you subscribe. We're going to search for the exact name of the plugin. It's not the most uniquely named, so it's hard to find just doing general searches. So use the exact name. We have it right here. Click on Install Now and then Activate. If you are installing this on the live production site, I recommend you do a backup. Whenever you install a new plugin, always back up your site files and your database before you install the plugin, just in case something goes wrong. It's pretty rare these days if something goes wrong, but if something does go wrong, you're out a website for a while until you can get it back online. If you're not sure how to create backups, I've linked to a tutorial up above that'll help you do it automatically, easily, and safely. So now we have this thing installed. All it does, if we go to our contact form, Go to edit on any form we have. With this box, you can add WooCommerce products as a dropdown. With this box, you can add custom post types as a dropdown, depending on what your needs are. That's not the topic of this video. This video, we have WooCommerce products on tap. So to add it in, all we do is click on here, and we just click on Insert Tag. Don't do anything else, and it actually works right out of the box like that. If we choose Allow Multiple Selections, it will say that's a pro version only option. If we choose Insert blank item as the first option, that's okay. If we choose enable search, it'll say that's a pro only. If we choose any of these options in here, it'll say it's pro only. And the pro version does offer a lot of extra features. It's only $15. You can add a lot of stuff with the pro version to the actual dropdown and the information in the box of the dropdown. But it's not really needed. You don't need to have that to list your products. So I'm just going to keep this as it is. I'm going to make this feel required just because I think that's a good idea and click on Insert Tag. I'm going to add a label just to be complete, just for completeness sake. Which product do you want to inquire about? You can choose it from the dropdown. Click on Save. And this form is the one that's on this page. Again, if you don't know how to create these forms, Check the other tutorials on this channel. Just look for Contact Form 7 on my channel page. You'll find lots of tutorials about Contact Form 7. Let's refresh out here, and we have this new addition. If you click on here, we have a drop down with all our products, which is pretty handy. If we click on any one of these, and let's fill out this form, let's actually send it somewhere. Let's send it to this email address. I need help. With this product. Send. And all that information will now be sent through in that email so that when you're replying, you know what the customer is asking about, which product specifically they want to inquire about. And that's how this plugin works. It's really simple, but it adds great functionality to contact forms that you may be missing on your website. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. And then watch this video up here, which is the top 10 security mistakes that I see over and over and over again on WordPress websites. And then watch this video down here, which is the one that YouTube thinks you should watch. And until next time, my name is Bjorn Allpass for WP Learning Lab. 
keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.